Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to Sunday Morning and the Old Cookbook Show. Today, we're going to do a recipe from the Duncan Hines book, Adventures in Good Cooking and the Art of Carving in the Home. Tested recipes of unusual dishes from America's favorite eating places. A little bit long-winded, but a couple months ago we did a recipe from a hotel and they said that they were listed in the Duncan Hines book, Adventures in Good Eating. Now, Duncan Hines, real guy, not just a name on a cake box, real guy. And he made his bread and butter from these travel guides. He traveled um, United States and Canada extensively by road starting in the 1930s. This was first published, this is his travel guide. Um, this is from 1942, but the first edition was published in 1936. And so he traveled and stayed at inns and hotels and ate at restaurants. And then just like a Michelin guide, put the information in, in these books, where to find the place, um, what to expect when you get there, what they specialized in, and some basics about pricing. And he was pretty sparse with his words. Like he, he wasn't overly effusive about anything. Um, if anything, he was overly effusive about um, people using his name after he had taken away his endorsement. Um, so he might go back to a place the next year and it wasn't as good and it wouldn't show up in the next book. And then he'd get upset that, you know, people were continuing to use his name. Anyway, as he traveled the highways and byways, he would ask for recipes. And those recipes show up in this book, um, Good Eating. Again, first published in 1939, 1939. And this version is published in 1953. And it is a compendium of recipes from across the United States and Canada from very famous hotels and restaurants of the time period, um, and some of them very famous to this day. And the recipe we're going to make is green goddess salad dressing. Now, green goddess salad dressing is one of those recipes where we can almost pinpoint an origin story. And it was originated in the 1920s at the Palace Hotel in San Francisco, California. And the recipe in this book that Duncan Hines has is from that hotel. So he's gone to the hotel, talked to the chef, got the recipe and put it in this book. Um, and that's the recipe we're going to make. Now, I also have this cookbook on the counter. This is Trader Vic's Book of Food and Drink. Trader Vic was a tiki guy. Trader Vic had a restaurant in Oakland, California called Trader Vic's, <laughs> and um, he eventually sells the licensing right to the Hilton Corporation, and they put Trader Vic's restaurants and tiki bars in their hotels around the world. This was published in 1946, and it also has a green goddess um, recipe from the same restaurant, the Palm Court of the Palace Hotel in San Francisco. And he writes that Edmund Reeder, the general manager of the Palace Hotel, has given him permission to reproduce the recipe in his cookbook. And the recipe is exactly the same. It's written a little bit differently, um, but it is exactly the same. So we're getting the real deal here in the Duncan Hines book. I'm going to start out with uh, a bowl and set the bowl there. Now I've got a can of anchovies. And they are packed in oil. I don't think I want the oil, but I do want the fish. Now the recipe says I want eight to 10 anchovy fillets, and that looks to be what I've got here. I've got some parsley, some tarragon, and a young onion, one piece of young onion. And I'm supposed to chop these together really fine, um, mince them up. So let's give it a go. Now, of course, a food processor would make quick work of this, um, but you would end up with something that's more of a paste than finely chopped. And I think that's as far as I'm going to chop it. Now, this green goddess is something that... Um, there's a lot of variation today in what people will call a green goddess salad dressing. And you end up with a lot of them that have avocado in it, and I, I don't know that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not much of a purist when it comes to food. I think avocado would certainly bring a lot of the creaminess in 
that you're going to get from the mayonnaise and you could cut back on the mayonnaise or even cut the mayonnaise out altogether. So that goes into the bowl. Now we need three cups of mayonnaise and I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to say three cups. Let's call that three cups and one tablespoon of tarragon vinegar and not very green is it not very green not very green at all between the color of the anchovies and the color of the vinegar um, it's not very green it's more of a sort of muddy brown now the next thing i'm supposed to put in is chives chopped fine um, the other was chopped very fine this is just chopped fine so maybe this will green it up a little bit and in go the chives give that a bit of a mix okay so i'm going to put a lid on this i'm going to stick it in the fridge for a couple of hours let all the flavors come together and then we'll come back for a tasting Okay, I've got a salad here of some greens, some romaine and radicchio, and the color hasn't changed. Our green goddess is still a little bit brown, but it's come together quite nicely. So in that goes, and I'll give it a toss. What are you making? Hey, Jules. I mean, clearly it's a salad, is it? But it's not a Caesar. I no. was expecting, because I, I was, I saw the romaine and the creamy dressing and the, and the croutons. No, it's, so it's green goddess salad dressing. Oh, the um, Green Goddess. From the Duncan Hines cookbook. Also, it's in the Trader Vic's cookbook. And they both reference the originating restaurant in San Francisco, um, where the recipe was originally, originally put together. Where is the recipe? Oh, no, I can't find it. Why can't I find it? That's going to be good. Yes. Anyway. What gives it the fresh flavor? There's something very fresh about it. So there's parsley tarragon and green onion Parsley, chopped up and then there's some chives chopped up inside as well um anchovies oh there are anchovies there are anchovies and so you can put some croutons on there you might want a little bit of lemon juice oops um, there's no i just squeeze it in Ooh, or all over the counter all over the counter Here, that's let me, okay let me, let me give you a little <laughs> and um, I, need you, I, need, I need your hip there, my friend. Thank you. You want some pecorino? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. I don't think I put the... Uh, you are still croutonless. Okay. So. Mm. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It is a very fresh flavor, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Radicchio is a little bit bitter, but that's radicchio. That's what it is. Um, I think me, personally, if it was between this, a showdown between this and a Caesar salad, I might take this over the Caesar salad. They share a really? lot of the same flavor profile, don't they? They do, and, and they're actually one of the few creamy dressings that I, in either case, that I mm -hmm. like. I think it might be the, uh, the fish, the anchovies that I like in it. So this is the starting point of the green goddess salad dressing that has expanded into a pile of different variations over time. Some with avocado, and the avocado bring, bring a lot of, brings a lot of creaminess as well with, that the mayonnaise has. So, I like this. As always though, I'd skip, skip the uh, radicchio. Yeah, I kind of like the radicchio a little bit. But you, can, you can have mine. Okay, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.